Hey everybody, Susan Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Freshwater Fridays. Today I want to show you what I got a couple months ago, and I am absolutely in love with them. They are my two Diamondback Terrapins. So let's go take a look at Louie and Ralphie. So I went to um, a rep reptile expo show a couple months ago. I think it was in July or August, I can't remember. And I just happened to be at the right place at the right time because at least in these parts, captive bred diamondback terrapins are very expensive, at least in my world expensive. Uh, they would go for like $350, $400. I was just at a reptile show yesterday and they were both like $400. So when I saw these and I was standing back watching them, they were about $250 each. And towards the end of the show, they were $200 each. And I was really contemplating getting one. And I'm like, I just can't justify a 200 I don't even buy $200 fish. And that, but this was my dream turtle. And I absolutely and wholeheartedly am against going out in the wild and getting a turtle. So I thought, okay, I might not have much choice. So let me think about this. And then a lady started to come up talking to him, negotiating. He said, look, I just want to go home. I'll give you both of these for $200. So I'm standing back thinking, oh, 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 maybe I can get one for 100 Still outside my pocketbook, but I think I was getting willing, but I'm playing it cool. I, I play Texas Hold'em. I can play it cool when I want to. I just can't play it cool on my videos for my fish because I love it. But anyway, so... She was hemming and hawing and walking away, and I could see that he was packing up. He just didn't want to bring these turtles home. And then as I heard him talking, they weren't even his turtles. Did I hear you right that, you know, this one, you know, they're $100? And he turned to me and he said, look, if you want both, I'll give them both to you for $100. But you got to take them both. Oh, my God. I couldn't. There was no poker face left. I was like, sold. So that's my story and how I got my two terrapins because I don't think I, in a dream world I would pick two males, but there were two males, so I got them. I said, well, they're still small. Maybe they, you know, they haven't reached maturity yet. Maybe they're not going to be very aggressive. We'll see. We'll check it out. I'll just keep a close eye on. I was wrong. It started off really good. Um, then it got bad. Not so bad. I got some footage. And I thought something was going on, but we, we weren't sure what. And then I said, are, are their feet supposed to shed like that? Because it looked like a little piece of the hind leg was uh, shedding, kind of. And I'm like, it's in a, so I go back and watch the GoPro footage and I couldn't tell if it was Louie or Ralphie. One of them sexually mature or they were acting as if and there was a little bit of an aggression there, so I had to separate them. Let me show you, I'm gonna start off with uh, Ralphie's tank and then I'm gonna show you Louie's tank. So I had to separate the two, and this is where Ralphie lives. This is a 29 gallon with a little turtle topper on it, and I built this up and put some flagstone on the bottom so that you could bask. And by putting this on top of the tank, I was able to give him the full range of the tank to swim. He still can't catch any of the guppies. He's getting a little better. He did get a couple of ghost shrimp. And every once in a while, I throw in some crickets. Oh. I don't want to bother your bubby. He's sleeping. He's basking, enjoying that beautiful hot rock. Go ahead, carry on. So that is Ralphie. And he is Ralphie. He's the one that got his um, heels nipped, and I'm gonna show you a picture of that. I got some B-roll of that. And the reason why he's Ralphie and the other one's um, Louie, because Louie just ain't right. Okay, so this here is Louie's tank. So Louie's in my old Odell 55 gallon. Inside those water baskets and inside that um, dollar store basket are sponge filters. 
I think I'm just being a little bit overly protective because there's a sponge filter there he never eats. But until I figure out better filtration for him, that's, where, that's the way we're going. And then on top, what I did is so that I could give him full reign of the tank because they're good swimmers. As I put a bird cage on end, put down a little mat for him, set up this egg crate, zip tied it, one fish, two fish, that's for you. <laughs> and then built the little ramp there. And I built this crate here only because I was watching the turtle girl and she talks about the great escape, escape artist. And uh, I'm gonna take a word for it. I don't wanna find out the hard way that I can't find my turtle. She's gone through that and she says how horrible it is. I'm going to link her video here because it's very informative. But this is Louie. He is adorable in his own right. And if I get two females, I will absolutely put a female in with, with him. But there's a lot of extra algae growth here because this light is the old light. This is a growing light. For, and I, this tank was filled with aquatic plants. Now that it's not, there's just way too much light, nothing absorbing it. So what I normally do is I don't have that plugged in anymore. I just plugged it in for the video. And, and I'll plug it in when I drop in some crickets for him or whatnot. In this tank here, in Louie's tank, when I keep that light on, it gets a little too much algae going on. So I showed you that and I turned the light off. But what I didn't realize is algae was growing on his shell, which in the wild is not a bad thing. A lot of turtles have algae growing on their shell. But I bought a little baby toothbrush and started a uh, little circular motions, you know, brushing his little scoots. And he started smiling. I mean, I don't know if it was like a reflex, but he was smiling. So let's check that out. He's like, what is that? Oh. <laughs> they can feel everything on their shell, you know. So I just take all this, because he's got a lot, a little bit of algae. This light's way too bright for this. Oh. <laughs> Hi. You doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that better? No, no light. You might have to come out here in the light. As long as you have them. Oh, baby, getting a little toothbrush. Here's a smile. Here's a smile. I'll do a species spotlight on them in the future, but right now I'm just really enjoying them, watching them, getting to know their personalities. So thanks for checking out my two Diamondback Terrapins.